Thanks, and best of luck to all of this year's participants. あの相手がわかるような。などういう文章を考えてるかなと思って。いや、ダライアス来た。ダライアス来た。ダライアスに大興奮する私。<笑>ダライアス来た。ダライアス来た。文章これでいいですかね文章これで、これで、まあちょっと安直ですけど、これでいいかなと思うんですよ。また曲面の話して。Really、だからフラッシングデュアルホークだって。<笑>あ、フラッシングデュアルホークだって。Right, well, we ここ,ここで行きましょう、これ。<笑> okay. like、hours, お届け物です、って。<笑>ロボロボロボロ<笑> Five dollars for Epi 147, harmful habitats, spiteful spires, baleful belfries, terrible turrets, perilous pillars, and stabby steeples. Five dollars from TB Skyen, abominable abodes, detestable domiciles, horrible households, harrowing headquarters, crusty cribs, disgusting dwellings, and revolting residences. ここでいきましょうか。もう一回ダイアスが出てきたら。We have one hundred and fifty dollars from Soccer Guy Seven Eleven. Always a good event to watch and donate to. Here's my shot to helping us reach this year's goal. えっとドイツが来たんですよね。ドイツが来たんで。One hundred dollars from Self Destructor. What's a Paladin? Let's bring the good name of Spoony into AGDQ. Twenty-five dollars from Jesse. What can I say? I really want that board. I'm gonna win. Nihon からって書いてるじゃないですか。ああ、そっか。日本よりか。Years back after his fourth fight with thyroid cancer, we only had a week once the news broke. Here's to helping ensure that nobody has to watch someone they love go that way again. Keep up the good work. なんか俺だね。ちょっと待ってね。日本からベリーロ。ここにいいのあるかな。ここでいいんじゃないですか。ここでいいんじゃないですか。えー、っと他の,他のリストリームのところにみんなで一斉に行ってある文章だけを打つんですよはい一斉に同じ文章だけ打ちますえー、っと、うん We have fifteen dollars from Laura Stell who says, Why does Lord British brush his teeth ten times a day? He has a deadly fear of a plaque. The Ultima fans will get that one. Well, without further ado, the time is gone. The Ultima Six, the false prophet with squibbins. So take it away. I'm going to guess I reset. 
あちょっと本家始まっちゃったんで。All right. so... Everything is tallied up. The avatar will be named Awa. All right, Awa. <laughs> Awa is the name of my cat, so it's、uh, actually my stream mascot. <laughs> All right, so this is the name of my cat. All right, so this is the name of my cat. All right, so this is the name of my cat. All right, so this is The avatar from Ultima 6, who's apparently named Awa.、Uh, at the beginning of the game, you get captured. The three rad dudes come and save you. So, the first thing we're going to do is, cap- is、uh, use a spell book to cast the spell help. Because t u l t i m a 6 is a back to the beginning of the game. Ultima 6 is a touch of the game. Ultima 6 is a touch of the game. We're going to tell Lord British we don't actually care about the story. <laughs> just gonna take his key from him and then we're gonna steal his cheese. He's lactose intolerant. Chi I must go in, Kwashi could I endure to him. I'm also gonna go into his closet and steal all of his armor. I need it more than he does. Nanka my ingosh took a chain knife to come in. I get all of the agents in my room. Thankfully, this isn't stealing. Nanka Yoro, Yoro. These are needed to cast all the spells. Just to game who has much at the end. ちょっとゲームの間にやらないといけないので申し訳ないんですけどリプレイドって書かれてる草と。お城のアイテムは例外。もう一回、ね、リプレイドって書かれてる草と。お城のアイテムは例外。もう一回、リプレイドって書かれてる草と。お城のアイテムは例外。もう一回、リプレイドって書かれてる草と。B1 <笑>武器を全部ってか持ってるも全部売りました今<笑>火薬の樽をブラックキャトルっつったからなんだ兄貴のテーマ知らねえ<笑>知らねえなそれは仲間から装備入って毒油化を回避できるブーツだけ履かせるはあ<笑>そうなんだ<笑>誰に話してんだ誰に<笑>誰に話してんだ<笑>あっノーシグナルになった急になんか移動したぞ。コンストリームの音小さめですね。いやで、コンストリームの声聞いて本気ではいいじゃんって話だからさ。セットアップになって1分後にですね。<笑>セットアップで1分でレイトしましょう。また、またなんかワープしてるけど。<笑>
Every step we take in the game increases the in-game counter, in-game minute counter by one. It's a 24-hour clock, and NPCs move on a 24-hour time, just like real world. They sleep. They take breaks. So pathing means that we need to be very exact on our movements, so that we end up getting to NPCs when they're actually at exact spots in the game. Any deviation can cause them to actually not be where we want them to be. 敵が出ないんですけど。そう敵が出ないんですけど。どういうこと？ Except for now we will be. So this lady here is where we buy the second spell we need and the only other one, the the spell field spells. Does exactly what you think. Gets rid of spell fields. Doesn't get rid of spells that we've had. Now we took the. Blue ring, which is a ring of invisibility. It turns out the black potions are all. Tend to しないからね。しないんだ。So our next goal is to go in this tavern and then go into the back of the tavern and find a secret entrance to encrypt where I'm going to kill my teammates. Don't tell them I said that. It just so happens that there's this one path right here where we can poison everybody. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I'm also gonna throw a boy barrel here. This is explosives. I don't know why I did that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I あの調べてると思います。翻訳して調べてそれでやってると思います。So we're now in the crypt. This is where the rune of honesty is. We also need to use an explosive to blow open the crypt itself, which we do here. And then we also give a proper burial to our three teammates, which is pretty sweet. They're now ghost friends. Thank you, ghost buddies. So upcoming is our favorite part of the game, which includes a boat, which I think I explained earlier. It's just a boat, but it has awesome music. But I'm gonna talk over the music for a little bit before we get to the really good part of the music. So I'll prepare for the most amazing part of the run. So I'm actually skipping some enemies right here by doing this. So it's very important that I skip these, otherwise we could kill the run. So this is boat song. A moment of silence for boat song. Okay, now I see land, so I'm done with boat song. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So this is Sutex Castle that we're gonna break and enter into with another explosive. Apparently, they decided that Sutex Castle would be guarded by guard rabbits. I'm not sure that they thought that plan through. Someone watched too many movies. So at this point, this is actually probably a pretty good do donation location as I go through this area and don't want to mess up any inputs. All right. We have thirty dollars from Liz the Goddess, who says, "Hey everyone, Liz here. Much love, much love to Squibs, and good luck on your run. I'll be rooting for you here from the back couch and humming boat song the whole way. Give this towards Awa, 'cause Awa is the best cat." Twenty dollars from Natara. Have to put my money towards Squibbins' cat Awa. Good luck with your, good luck with your run today, Squibbins. All right, so. This is a part where we're actually going to be using the invisibility that we got earlier. So I'm actually going to talk about the run and not just make fun of it. So in invisibility, every step we take has an RNG value of just breaking. I'm not exactly sure what the value is, but for every movement, we have a completely random chance of breaking this. We need it to not die. So we actually like kill the Hydra back there specifically, so that we could actually get some extra experience. I'm gonna have to kill one rat too, so that we level up. That gives us enough health to not worry about dying later, because you don't want to die. That actually takes you back to the beginning of the game, and we don't want to be there unless you want to play it over. I don't recommend that. I mean, I do, because this game is extremely good. So hopefully we'll find a rat in here. If we don't, then we won't level up. But it won't really matter. We just have a chance. Oh, there's a lot of rats. How you doing, buddies? So we're just gonna kill all of these rats. <coughs> Thank you, rats. Amazingly, each rat gives us 16 experience. We actually only needed two. 
So here is the best part of the run. I say that every time we do anything in the run. We're gonna find some balloon plans on this guy. Turns out that the whole goal of the game is actually just become an awesome balloonist. That's my dream, the avatar's dream. So this is the first of the shrines. We're gonna use this rune of spirituality on the spirit shrine and then talk to this rock. And this rock blesses us, restores 10 karma, how serendipitous. And then also at the same time levels us up. Amazing. Hopefully we don't die to a volcano. That would have been very bad. So here I'm actually gonna create a safety save just in case something goes bad because this is the really hard part. I would probably have another donation right right now. Certainly. We have $50 from Stompy who says, Hey Squibs, we're so proud of all your hard work and happy to help a good cause. You got this girl. Love Stompy and Fee. Absolutely. We have $20 from Zandra. This mouse and the rest of your chat are cheering you on, Squibs. You got this. And I apologize in advance for this. Boat time, boat time, boat time, boat time, boat time. <laughs> you did a much better job at that than I could have possibly ever done. Thank you. Thank you for the donations. This is all going to a great cause. So here, we are uh, doing three gargoyle shrines. The gargoyle shrines are required to talk to a giant gray Dorito at the end, because even Doritos come in goth. Uh, this gar this Drake got in our way. So the three gargoyle shrines are actually the spirits of the dead guys from the first three games. The dead guys mean the dead enemies bosses. We trapped them inside of stat statues, and apparently they're now helping us. I'm not sure why. So we've got one more gargoyle shrine. This is the worst part, because at any moment, the invisibility could wear out, and then it's all over, except for let's not make it over. We can actually recover from this shrine, so I'm not that actually worried about it. I'm just making you worried about it, because it's more fun that way. All right. So now we can go back to our pilfering, because I'm the avatar. So now we're actually a cool band with the Invisible Dude and three Ghost Buddies. There's probably better names for it, but I'm really terrible with names. I mean, I did name my cat Ala, the Avatar. So at this point, we stole the Rune of Honor. And then we're also going to steal a glass sword, because glass swords are sweet. I'm going to hang it on my mantle later. This guard can just stand there which is great. They can stand there forever, which is also great. They're one of the few severe RNG components in this game, which is, uh, it's pretty sweet. So the next thing we're gonna do is take these spider webs we got earlier, and we're gonna get them turned into silk thread. Silk thread is needed to make awesome clothes. That's my next goal, is to make clothes out of spider webs. This game was designed for me. <laughs> so before we can do that, though, we have to talk to this character named Thindle, because the weaver won't talk to us unless we know Thindle's name. They're very picky. So how you doing, Arvis? Thank you, Arvis. We have the silk thread. This is the next part where we do a whole talk about a movie, about Ultima Six. So in this town, we're gonna get the Runish Humility and also some spider silk. But at the same time, we're gonna be talking about a movie about Ultima Six. So the first thing we're gonna do is talk to Antonio Banderas about the room. So there's Antonio Banderas. Antonio Banderas tells us he gives the room to William Shatner. So we're gonna go talk to William Shatner, who's apparently a farmer now. Good job. And then afterwards, we're gonna talk to Commander Shepard. Thank you, Commander. I'm not exactly sure why all these people are in here. They just are. Commander. 
at the moment. We're supposed to go talk to Sean Connery. These are actually the names of all the characters in the games. I'm not making it up. I'm just adding extra names to them. <laughs> so Sean Connery is eating lunch. So we talk to them. How you doing? They tell us to give the rune to Margot Robbie. So we're gonna talk to her. Turns out that she's also the, the silk stream seamstress. She's gonna give us the spider silk cloth which is one more step closer to fulfilling my dreams. She tells us that she actually gave it to Chef Hiroyuki Sakai, who happens to be my favorite Iron Chef. And then we're gonna talk back to Antonio. Thank you, Antonio. Turns out Antonio had the rune all along, that sly dog. So at this point, because I'm angry Antonio had the rune, I'm gonna go rob a plant. Apparently this plant stole the rune of justice. So now I'm gonna go steal the rune of justice from a plant. Cause I'm the avatar. Thank you plant, take that. Now I'm gonna go buy a log. And everyone from the 90s will remember there's a song about logs. I'm not gonna sing it, but now it's stuck in your head. So just hum that little tune in your head. And now I'm gonna actually request that donations be read so that people can have that tune just stuck in their head for 45 seconds. Happy to oblige. We have $420 from Squibs Chat saying, hey Squibs, here's to you. Thanks ah, for being here that brought all of us together. Mike the presence of not just our lives, but the community as a whole has been such a great <laughs> one. We're all glad to be a part of it. Good luck on the run. Love from all of us at Squibs Chat, both behind you on the couches and at home. Good luck on the run. 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 Good luck on the So the next thing I'm gonna do <laughs> is actually go up here and take the spider to the seamstress and hope that she can make some typing on the right chair. But it turns out she can't. She can only make a bag for me. So typing on the right chair. So I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to do it. Maybe we could use that to make an awesome balloon out of spider webs. Yeah, tada, tada. I can have tada, tada. transportation made out of spider webs. Tada, tada. Comment you're reading, and what's that? What's that? What's that? It'll really fulfill our balloon dreams. <laughs> so at this point, I'm actually going to talk about some technical details. I save here. Well, I don't save. I actually <laughs> use an N. It resets the hour clock to 7 a.m. So we can actually set yeah, new new characters. Casting help will do it at 8. We're actually going to see the only glitch in the run that we can't fix. There's no way around so, it. I actually use Sherry the mouse here. <laughs> あの B マニキのテーマっていうからなるほどなと思ってちょっとねミュートにしてました So now it's a great time to talk about why we're playing the Japanese version. So this version was actually ported from a PC game. It was ported to Super Famicom. A lot of changes have happened since then. The PC version is definitely superior, but this version is definitely superior for speedrunning. <laughs> In that case, the English version was ported from this version and it runs about 18% slower on the console. It also, they didn't take the dialogue from the PC version and instead just translated it from the Japanese. Q no bhin yatsume. Great dialogue in it. And that's why we were in the Japanese version. It actually has the exact same amount of voice. Ikanji sasayaki voice ですけどね. So here I'm going to walk back and forth to get an NPC to spawn named Gweno. This is again, we're just a little ahead of time on the game. So there she is. <laughs> We knew she'd spawn there at the exact time. So you mean do you? <laughs> we hire her on our party. Turns out she's the wife of Yolo, the character who she's twinsies with in my party. Shout out the twinsies. So I'm gonna talk Hashiri. to this character about the rune of sacrifice. Turns out 
。The song is needed to gain the rune of sacrifice? 歌うよ。ゲームの中でお歌うよ。Is this called Stones? That's it. So after we've learned Stones, we can fire him. We don't need you anymore. There's actually a reason we do that. There's two reasons. One, <laughs> I don't want her in my party. いい、ね、the second reason is because it actually keeps the frames entering the balloon. So there's a reason. Because we need to be faster. We're speedrunners. That's why I'm mashing B a lot right now. But it didn't actually do anything. <laughs> now we have the rune of sacrifice. We need to get to the last part of our balloon so we can become the ultimate balloonist. Which is our entire life goal. Balloon, it's still like a q u This is just a basket. I'm gonna take it from this lady. Except we have to pay for it. Rats. We haven't had to pay for anything in this game. Now they're making us pay. <laughs> I'm the avatar. Didn't she know who I am? So at this point, our next goal is to actually tell you about the story. Since I haven't told you that, you probably w a n t to know what the story of this game is. I promise I'm not lying to you. So the next character we're going to go see is named Captain John in the last game. Oh, Q and the Shadow Lords. Oh, we're going to see some of the Shadow Lords, which are the antagonists. After the defeat of the Shadow Lords, the underworld has started to collapse. That's where the gargoyles live. I'm going to see some of the Shadow Lords. I'm going to see some of the Shadow Lords. I'm going to see some of the Shadow Lords. I'm going to see some of the Shadow Lords. I'm going to see some of the Shadow Lords. I'm going to see some of the Shadow Lords. I'm going to see some of the Shadow Lords. I'm going to see some of the Shadow Lords. I'm going to see some of the Shadow Lords. So now we're visiting the Gargoyle Museum to see other great exhibits. Our first Gargoyle Museum is the ones that is used by the Gargoyles to read the Book of Ultimate Wisdom. Dispel Magic. There it is. It looks kind of pretty sweet. Oops, we took it. Quarreta Lens. That's fine. That's what they get for letting the Avatar in there. <laughs> so now we've got to go talk to Drax. When we talk to Drax, they give us the amulet of submission once we need to submit to them. This prevents gargoyles from actually attacking us, which is actually really nice. It also, なんなんの the reason we actually need it is to talk to this gargoyle. This gargoyle is the most important item in the world. And funny enough, we only need to talk to this gargoyle. So that another gargoyle will talk to us. It's a chain of gargoyles. そう、マイク持ってればぜひ入ってほしいですけどね。わからないから。This is actually where the avatar would learn that they need to go talk, seek the book of ultimate wisdom. But we already know that. Here I'm also going to cast help. Doing so, we 